Hello teachers, here are top five behaviors you should never practice if you hope to live and work in Thailand long term. But before I dive onto these behaviors, I urge you to like subscribe to the channel. Thailand is a conservative society and the people here add high value to their cultural ethos. As such, it's good for you, a foreigner, to respect these uh, cultural ethos if you intend to not only work long term but to peacefully relate with the Thais. The first behavior you should definitely avoid is confrontation. You should avoid confronting Thais, especially at the workplace, in this case, your school. If you engage in direct confrontation, it will make your colleagues uncomfortable and this might cause your job. The next behavior you should definitely avoid is venting anger. It's not good to show signs of frustration in public. If you are angry about something, try to put your emotions in check. Better still, leave your office and maybe go into the toilet and run there to yourself, perhaps looking at yourself in the mirror as much as you can, but never show it in public. Otherwise, it might just destroy your reputation and maybe leads to your dismissal. The third behavior that you should avoid when working in Thailand is deception. Yeah, you get me right. Uh, you might not intentionally tell lies. Sometimes uh, you may just decide to be defensive and your points turn out to be lies. In this case, the Thais wouldn't respect you. I mean, nobody will respect a liar. So please, no matter the situation, always try to own up to your responsibilities and avoid telling lies. Before I dive onto the fourth and fifth point, I want to know from you what other behaviors do you think experts in the kingdom should avoid if they wish to coexist with ties. Fourth behavior you should definitely avoid is laziness. Please stop being lazy. Ties pay more salary to you foreigner to perform the tax you have been employed for. Although some may say this is not much but it's a higher salary as compared to the package that ties do have so they expect you to be judicious with your work avoid being lazy and the last behavior you must avoid is lateness please be punctual never go late to work if you must go late to work then please inform your coordinator or director in advance otherwise you may just find yourself at the wrong side of school rules and regulation in this case your workplace are lost. I hope these five behaviors helps you to like settle in in the kingdom, especially if you're a new teacher, because it will guide you on the things you ought to do and ought not do as far as teaching is concerned in the kingdom. Once again, thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, please hit the subscribe button.